Chris Lees has found the key to him, and they keep him on the fresh side. He's been fantastic. Ran third in the Doncaster, third in the Queen Elizabeth. Um, had excuses in the Hollandale. I can see him getting back and really uh, hitting the line strongly. Uh, heavy track. Seems to handle it okay. Chris Lees and Corey Brown have both had terrific seasons, both winning uh, two Group 1s respectively for the season. And uh, sense of occasion, the wide gate is going to have to go back. Going now to horse number five, which is a star exhibit from the Darren Weir stable. And now um, we've got number six on the screen, which is uh, McCreary. So we've missed uh, one of the leading contenders. But McCreary is a horse who certainly likes wet ground. Um, he improves when he gets his toe in. And look, he got back in an awkward spot in that slowly run race. So you can expect him to improve if the tempo is on here. Best chance of the Queenslanders. What a story this would be for Desley Forster to be able to win with Cylinder Beach. The Toowoomba Cup winner two starts ago. Needs a lift on its Hollandale Cup performance, though, and sees a heavy track for the first time. I'd imagine Morris is going to be a long way from the leaders uh, from his barrier, but he does like the wet ground. And as we saw with Kaneda in the previous. Maybe swinging to the middle of the track might be the right play today. And the red cap goes on Astronomous and the blinkers go on for the first time for the best wet tracker in the race. Is he talented enough to win at Wait for Age? You love him in a handicap? I still think he's the best outsider. Emphasis, uh, I can't see it being a, comp um, a competitive chance here. So now look at Articus, the stallion from the uh, Darren Weir camp. Was very, very impressive. Some nearly 19 lengths quicker than average over the 1800 metres at Flemington. Really fast race and was able to hold off that surge and we get in the interim dividends still nothing uh, from the protest of the previous uh, here's rudy for helen page and tim clark uh, tim's had a terrific season winning the winter bottom winning two group ones rudy i think's best at a mile and now as an older horse getting out to 2000 meters wet tracks a big tick for him uh, single gate was was good behind it somewhat last time out was a little bit sl uh, slow from the gates and that put her in an awkward spot she went forward and just went down fighting the colorful opponent park colors will be carried by a uh, Jessie Bell uh, before she goes on to broodmare duties. Uh, I think this is a, a leap too far. Love this girl, Emily Starr. Yeah, there's a lot to like about her recent form since joining the Darren Weir stable. Got the win over the mile, the 1600, but everything that she does suggests that the step up to 2,000 metres and then beyond um, would be of benefit. And early in her career, when she was trained by Peter Moody, wet ground, huge plus. Always respect the uh, New Zealanders, especially a Group 1 winning uh, New Zealander. Sound proposition as a result uh, has to be considered. And Richard Friedman, well, Lee won three in his own right. Lee and Anthony combined with our Ivanhoe and Anthony won with Mawingo. Can Richard Friedman win with an outsider there in Orvray? Well, the protest was dismissed on the uh, previous race, as you can see on the screen. So the placings there, 2, 5, 8 and 12. Kanedna holds the race. And here we've got star exhibit, Richo, uh, another runner from the Darren Weir camp. Uh, and Blake Shin's taking the ride here. The heavy track's the, the big concern for this uh, gilded son of Statue of Liberty. Never uh, raced on a heavy track. Gee, it was a terrific run in the anniversary Vars. That was 1,400 metres. Straight to 2,000 metres going to be the big query uh, for Star Exhibit, according to the trainer, Darren Weir, who we spoke to uh, previously. They're making their way out onto the track, Brent. Let's have a look at your top four and a fabulous four for the big one, the Doombin Cup. Yeah, I was finding it difficult to split the horses at the top of the betting. And there, Articus is just being a little bit soft in the market now, getting out to $5. But um, I think he and It's Somewhat, um, they've both got different ap attributes in that It's Somewhat we know will be bowling along towards the front of the field. You'd imagine Articus is going to be sort of just parked off and looking for that middle of the track run in the home straight. Emily Stars is going to be the one then launching right down the middle of the track, I'd imagine, after that. And then Astronomer, so I tend to agree with you that uh, he probably wants it a little bit wetter than it is today. But I thought for someone who's looking to play um, one outside of the market, he wasn't a bad at a massive price. Well, let's get a market update for Crown Bed for the big one. The Doombin Cup, wait for age, Group 1, 2,000 metres worth 650,000. Probably hit the pause button at the top of the market here, Richo. Nothing much has changed since last time we looked at it. I was hoping something would, but there is a bit of a story to tell. It's somewhat still for... It somewhat is the fave Articus, and I think the best of the Queenslanders might be uh, Desley Forster's uh, Cylinder Beach, and I'll get Desley to come and have a chat to me. Uh, lovely to have you on Racing.com. Good luck here with uh, Cylinder Beach, and I reckon you're the best of the Queenslanders. You agree? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound overly confident. The Toowoomba Cup win was terrific, though. Yeah, look, he's, we're pretty confident coming here today until the track's probably put a little bit of damp. Rising five, he's only had the 17 career starts and as though 
He does have a an angel on his shoulder, of course. He's, uh, he's raced to the name Cylinder Beach is after Chris Lees, who uh, passed away. I think it was his favourite beach, and uh, Tracy's still in the ownership, so I'm sure there's someone above making sure he runs well for you. Yeah, no, I hope so. I said um, there's plenty of people up there, probably... Is the angels up there? Hopefully they'll get him home over the wet track. <laughs> Maybe you can find a little patch that's nice and dry for him. That sounds a plan. Oh, look, Jimmy's <laughs> been walking the track very well. He's ridden two winners today, so I said he'll find the best part of the track and he'll give him an opportunity. Right. Well, good luck. We'll all be cheering for you. Thank you. Here's Lee Forster with her thoughts on Cylinder Beach. Um, and uh, trains at Eagle Farm. It's a wonderful story, isn't it? Uh, for Chris, who passed away with brain cancer, and it was his favourite beach on Stradbroke Island, is Cylinder Beach. So they named this horse uh, after his favourite beach, and uh, Tracy, uh, his uh, wife, is still in the ownership, and uh, has won $536,000. It's a and great story. Yeah, and Desley was good enough um, to allow us to come have a look and do a story with the horse on Thursday morning, which. Um, Hopefully plenty of people saw on racing.com. Also, she's got too good to refuse aiming towards a Stradbroke in a couple of weeks. Going to be first up into that. But here on course, um, a little bit of a drift away. Just having a look what's happening on the exchange with uh, Articus. He's up to sort of nearly $6. So um, punters are keen to take him on at this point. Uh, very firm is it somewhat, the top weight here, around that sort of 420, 440 mark. So you, you're getting the right price with the fixed and across the totes. What about uh, for Emily those? Star? She's, she's the one from a, a market point of view I'm keen to see a move she's for. She's sort of hovering around that $10 mark, 950, which is similar to what we're seeing here on the Victorian, uh, the Queensland official price, not Victorian official <laughs> price. Get that out of our head. But um, there hasn't really been a massive move outside of one those. Single gay has been very firm. One move at a big price is Sound Proposition, who's $61 into 31 a Group 1 winner in New Zealand. Uh, never raced on a heavy track, though, of course, the New Zealand soft tracks are arguably the same surface we have here. And for Opie Bossom, the superstar jockey, looking for his 55th career Group 1, and the market says that he'll run well. Well, there's certainly no knock from the market for those who like it somewhat. It's been the... Uh, at the pointy end, the one that's been very solid. Articus just being a touch late. That's not to say that he certainly can't win, but if you want him to uh, um, wait as late as you can to get the best possible price, that's the best um, option to play with Articus because he's just drifting a touch. Uh, but now more money coming for it somewhat. It'll start a clear favourite and a very solid favourite late here in the Doombin Cup. Well, Brent Zarafa's two best bets of the day have saluted, and his numbers here are 12, 1, 16 and 10 for the big one. The Doombin Cup, our Ivanhoe won the race last year. Pornichet streamer beaten up Mawingo in recent years. And, of course, who would ever forget, back in the early 90s when Rough Habit was able to win the great race on three occasions, three in a row. And for Darren Biedman, he won the race in 96 as a jockey on Juggler. Can he win as a trainer? He saddles up the favourite. It's somewhat as we join David Fowler to call the action. Thanks, Richo. And the line is taking good shape for this year's Dooman Cup for Hardy Brothers. Probably one of the best cup fields we've had in some time. Numbers or quality and quantity for that matter. Articus is about to come in. Previous race, long protest. Ultimately dismissed. Ken Edna kept the race from Oklahoma Girl. Now Morris goes in. McCreary is coming up. I'd say we've got about five or six to move in and we'll be set for the, uh, the Doomman Cup. Let's see if there's any late betting moves. It's somewhat 420 on the QAP. Articus is at $5. So they're the top pair in betting. And then it's a, a few dollars out to Sense of Occasion, Star Exhibit. Single gaze and the mealy star around the 9.950 mark. So no late moves there. Articus has gone in. His emphasis coming up. I think he'll run the, the outsider in the, the cup emphasis. So star exhibit and sound proposition. They'll be the last two to move in. 15 to run here. Third leg of the quadrilla to be alive. Bid I babe into Ken Edna. Sound proposition comes up to a centre gate. And that will leave Star Exhibit, who'll be loaded riderless. He's a market player. So Star Exhibit coming up, has the blindfold on. They just circle him one more time. And as soon as uh, he's loaded, we'll be ready for action. Star Exhibit goes in, 
And now they're set for the Doomman Cup for 2017. Group one, set to go. Good luck to all connections here. Starter is at the ladder. Hasn't switched on the red light as yet, but it'll only be a matter of seconds. Now star exhibit, they take the blindfold off. And now we are ready for action. There's the light. Set for the cup. They stand well. They're racing. Orvre, Rudy and Star Exhibit all begin well with Jesse Bell and it's somewhat is heading forward early. Emphasis not too far away with Sound Proposition and Artica. Single gaze, ridden for speed going forward and McCreary is following it up. Getting back in the field early was Cylinder Beach with a mealy star. Then Sense of Occasion and the Stablemates, they'll drop to the tail, Morris and Astronomus last. Out of the straight, 1,600 metres left to go, Orvre leads. It somewhat moves up on the outside to be second and Single Gaze is trying to pop in a little closer to the rail and does so now. O'Hara gets it in one off the fence and Rudy is tracking forth on the rail. Star Exhibit has landed a good spot. Two lengths away in fifth inside of McCreary. Jesse Bell outside of Sound Proposition. Emphasis deep. Then Articus. He's back in the second half of the field. One off the fence at Amelie Star. Sense of occasion. Cylinder Beach Morris and Astronomus was last 12 off them. Along the back straight 1100 metres left to run and Orvray calls the shots. Leads the cup favourite somewhat by a length. They're out by two and a half to single gaze third and Rudy was an neck back fourth. Two to McCreary around star exhibit coming off the fence. Sound proposition going up inside the pair. Just behind them Jesse Bell and emphasis. A Billy star worse in midfield on the fence with Articus. Keeping them company three deep sense of occasion and a line of three at the tail. Morris, Cylinder Beach and Astronomus. Now it's only eight lengths top end to tail and we're getting to the business end of things. 600 metres left to go and Aubrey giving cheek in front from it somewhat. Single gaze Pulls out three wide to launch a claim. Star exhibit on the way forward with McCreary. Rudy next. Then a couple of sound proposition emphasis. Jesse Bell Articus a mile back with Amelie Star. They've got work to do. Then sense of occasion. They sweep for home in the cup. It's somewhat given full bore. It and single gaze went to Orvray. Amelie Star now getting through with Rudy. Star exhibit wider. McCreary's the deepest runner. Star exhibit out beyond the centre of the track. May have reached the lead from Rudy and Amelie Star. Sense of occasion is absolute thirsting home. Right down the outside, he descended, he went by, and he's away. Sense of occasion, won the cup. Beat either Star Exhibit, Rudy, or Amelie Star. Then came McCreary, single gaze, Morris, Cylinder Beach. It somewhat didn't come on, then emphasis, sound proposition, Jesse Bell. Well back, Astronomus, with Articus, who didn't fire a shot. And the early leader, Orvre, whips them in in 2.6.63. Oh, brilliant training performance by Chris Lees. His third group one of the season. And Corey Brown, ditto, sense of occasion, kept fresh. He's gone to a different level this preparation. He ran third in the Doncaster, third in the Queen Elizabeth. He wins the Doombin Cup. Star exhibit, terrific. Rudy, so brave, running third. Emily's star runs for 3, 5, 13 and 16 in the group one Doombin Cup. tempo you got back and you won pretty easily one really good um this horse is deserved of he, he should have won the hollandale the other day down at um the coast he was unlucky i put him in the race too early and um just didn't work out for him but today i just let him do his own thing that's what i said to chris i'm just going to let him do his thing early you can't can't bust him too much early so he's sort of back within the last couple of three or four um but give me a great feel throughout from the 600 i just knew he just had to find that sprint that he normally does on a bog track and he, he picked them up quite easily. He won very well. You were just telling me you won Chris's first group one. Nice to get another one for him. Yeah, no, was, I won Chris's first and Max's last. So um, they've always been good to me, the Lees. Uh, Chris has been very well to me and the support since I've been back has been great. So it's great to repay them with a the group one. Well done. Enjoy it. There we have the post-race interviews with Chris Lees and Corey Brown after the Hardy Brothers Doombin Cup, courtesy of Sky Racing. The winner, sense of occasion, $9 fixed, $9.20 and $3 on the tote. Star exhibit at $2.50. Rudy, great run by him at $7.30. 3.5, 13 and 16, $11,811 first four there on Super Tab. Played bigger on UTAB, $15,455. A uh, very good horse sense of occasion. He's been in great form all the way through the campaign. All right, we'll take a break here on racing.com. One more to come here at Flemington.